Hey YouTube, um, I'm about to go do a quick review on this jelly bean ROM for the HTC Sensation. Um, so I'm going to hop right into it. Um, as you can see, the lock screen definitely definitely looks different from ICS. Um, got these little ripple effects. Um, and you can go to your camera, Google Now, or unlock it. Um, Google Now now works on this build, but um, the only thing with this one is that uh, the mic still doesn't work for. It works when you're inside of a call, but it doesn't work for like the voice search or voice text or anything like that, or anything besides, you know, inside of a phone call. Um, putting the microphone inside the phone also does not work. You have to. Um, there's a couple like applications you can probably get in order to get it to work. And thirdly, like I said, the camera the camera does not work. Other than that, everything works. Project Butter is implemented. So Project Butter is definitely here. Um, it never lags. It's really fun, really fast. You know, holding the home button, you know, brings up applications immediately after that vibration goes off. The applications pop up, and this is buttery smooth. You know, never lags, never shuts off. Everything works perfectly. Besides what I mentioned, um, opening applications is alright. Uh, YouTube in particular opens slow. I don't know why. It's always been like that. Um, video playback works great. It's just a little buggy, so if I play a video, it'll play, but it'll be kind of choppy, though. Well, not choppy, but have checkers everywhere. You see those checkers right there? It's kind of a little buggy. In order to get around that, you can get an application called MX Player. But MX Player makes my phone crash, so I downloaded V Player. Um, the purpose of having a different audio, um, different video players because V Player, MX Player, maybe a few other applications they use software decoding, which is um may not work as good as hardware decoding, but you need to use software decoding for right now until ROM gets updated. Um, so that's work just wrong. I don't have any videos in my gallery, so I can't show you how they work. Other than that, everything's quick. You know, Gmail definitely. Loads up quick, quick, quick on something. Definitely fast. Um, we get notifications. If somebody sends you an email, you can use two fingers to slide down or spread them apart on the notification, and it'll expand that notification for you. If you take a screenshot, it'll put it in your notification bar. So I'm gonna hold the home button. I'm gonna take a screenshot. All right. Let's save the screenshot. Okay, so screenshot's been saved, and in your notification, you see. You can't see the whole screenshot, you see a preview of it. People spread your fingers forward to expand it and push them together to close it. So I push them together and it closes the screenshot. But it's still, you can't see it right now. Um, I can't get this camera to focus. But it shows a little preview of the screenshot right here in the box. And if you want to open it, you just slide it down to get a better preview. You can share it from right here. It asks you how do you want to share it. And these are the ways you can share it. Alright, um, hold the home button, you get your, um, I mean, hold down on the screen. Get your wallpapers and everything. Sorry, uh, nothing new. No new wallpapers or anything like that. Probably for San Juan. Well, I mean, for you know, besides the regular ICS ones, but no new ones. No new live wallpapers actually. But the wallpapers are new. Um, you, of course, you know you can hold the application and when you move it. Something on the home screen to move for you. So wherever you want to move your stuff to, it'll move for you. Even other applications will move. You know, or you can put them inside the folder, and then you can name the folder by clicking on it, and just name it. All right, and you can just take it out and set it up where you want it. Um, not really nothing, you know, besides speed improvements and you know the stuff right there. Um, when the keyboard gets up and working, you'll be able to um, do a voice keyboard without even. Sorry, I'm looking at the camera. Without even having to have an internet connection, you'll be able to uh, use the voice keyboard. It's not working right now, but I'm sure it'll be fixed soon. But, um, yeah, that's about it. And, um, yeah, it definitely be up and running soon. But uh, you see, Wi Fi works. I am on Wi Fi. Bluetooth partially works, and everything else works. So, um, that's pretty much it. You know, I just want to give you like a little feel of ice cream sandwich and just my, I mean, jelly bean, and just my thoughts and opinions on the ROM. Um, they definitely do a great job. Uh, Google definitely does a great job. You know, everybody does a great job. 
you know, period. So that's it for right now. Be sure to comment, thumbs up my video, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.